kept the food stuff. Lagos State speaks on discovered COVID-19 warehouse. The Permanent Secretary of Ministry of Agriculture, Lagos State, has given the reason why the COVID-19 palliatives were stored in a warehouse that was discovered by Nigerians on the 21st of October 2020. Kemi Filani recalls that angry Nigerians stormed the warehouse to take away the COVID-19 palliatives that was kept there by the government. According to the Permanent Secretary, the government is not happy with the act because the looted palliatives isn't meant for Lagos State alone. He added that the palliatives were supposed to have been distributed, but they, inst they were instructed to hold on due to the hashtag NSAS process. This is the annoying thing. What do you mean? The cases in Nigeria are low, and at the time when coronavirus was high, that was when they were meant to give, it, give the, um, the food stuff around to people. People were out of jobs. They were, we, Nigeria, the Lagos State was in lockdown. So this was when they were meant to give it. When did the NSAS protest start? It started in October. So it absolutely makes no sense why it has to be held until the NSAS protest because they think that we are stupid. In his words, do you know that those items belong to the BUA group of companies and some other states? Lagos State has been distributing its own. It was less than a month that those palliatives were officially handed to Lagos. We had to start redoing rebagging. We had to start doing rebagging, and that took us some time. We have we have given to religious bodies, transporters, artisans, physically challenged people, and so on. But it, ha it is not enough, because if you are fully given to everybody and they were satisfied, why is it that there are still some in the warehouse? Even the community that is looting now were giving, and what they have looted belongs to other groups. It is absolute rubbish. So people are saying we are heartless are really uninformed. It is because of the hashtag answers that we were told to stop. We don't have to make noise when we distribute of chaos. It's not about making noise. If you are giving things to people, there will be no poverty. Even in the answers process, they were still giving people food in those protests. At the height of coronavirus where there was lockdown and people were not in jobs and people could not go out, they, they were not giving as much there. It was a lot of celebrities that were actually using their foundation and their charity groups to give out and distribute food. It is sad. Reacting to this on Twitter, the chief press secretary to Lagos State, Governor, also wrote, This is falsehood. This is inciting. The governor did not lock the food packs in. They are in warehouse for distribution. Stop inciting Nigerians. Governor Jide Samolu used his personal and state resources to get food quality for vulnerable Lagosians even before COVID. Even before COVID. Promote peace. This absolutely does not make sense because even before COVID, Nigerians were in abject poverty. Lagos was very, very bad. People were still sleeping under the bridges. People were still very, very hungry. Crime was still present. So what is their point? Well, of course, this has aggravated a lot of people. And the first opinion here says, Honorable Speaker, you should be stoned to death. <laughs> Madam, you don't need to worry yourself. That stuff is for nigerians and they have already shared it for themselves so why are you complaining idiot did you think we are full useless people the thing is fine they've gone to loot it but what if it was still there in the upper of lagos's palace they found those those food items there what did you want to use them for what kind of greed is that because you are rich and you are well enough you can sustain yourself so why are you keeping that amount of food when people are outside and they are hungry why are these people finding it so convenient to tell lies? That is it. They really, really underestimate us. It is a, it's very condescending. They really do believe that we are, we are so stupid. And at the end of the day, Nigerians say that, that the government is stupid. They're not stupid. In fact, if, if it's anything, they have studied us and they are playing this game well. They know the constitution. They know their ways around it. And with the thugs and everything happening right now, Apparently, in the next 48 hours, if it still continues, the Lagos state government can actually deploy army and soldiers onto the streets. Again, we need to know the country that we are learning in. And at the end of the day, with all the protests and everything, yes, it is fine. But in the country that we live in, we are assuming that the people in the power are rational. We are assuming that we are living and operating in a functioning system, which is not possible. Because if we were living in a functioning system, we could literally sign a petition and be like you need to step down you need to step down and they will step down but the thing is we're in a jungle and unfortunately we cannot act rational and as human beings to defeat and play the game of people who are playing games on us and our comment says 
my speaker you are senseless and heartless you will never go unpunished do you think Queen Nigerians are fools like you and your other government body? I repeat, shame on you, if I may ask. When did you start the distribution? Why don't you distribute it for this before the protest began? That's the stupid thing about this. How can you say that they stopped distributing because of the NSAS protest? Before the NSAS protest, the coronavirus um, cases had gone down. And even at the height of the lockdown, at the height of, you know, unemployment, they were not even sharing anything. People were starving on the street to death. It is very unfortunate. This is just wickedness, sheer wickedness. And I feel like right now, Nigerians need to go home. Obviously, it is unsafe on the streets, but we need to go home, think and re-strategize on the next move to make. Because we've already called on international bodies. There's only so much they can do. They can only talk. They can only advise. They can only put a slap on the wrist. But we need to actually go and re-strategize on what the next move is. We need to get our PVCs. Even though 2023 is far away, but we need to actually think of what the next plan of action is. Another main thing is that we need to go and learn our constitution. What kind of jungle are we living in? What are the rules in which this jungle operates in? Because that's what it is. It is highly embarrassing. Um, President Buhari has come to the to to um came uh, on live and basically he said gibberish. I don't know what he said. He did not even address anything. And now on Twitter, all social media platforms, everyone is saying, please go and find your visas. If, if you know anyone, if you know anyone with a blue or red passport, let me go and marry the person. This is where we have come to. And the thing is, running away is not an option. We can't because we are helping the co- the economies of others. We are helping the economies of developing countries who are still exploiting our own countries until date. The real question that we also need to be asking is that from even 1960, on what basis did we, did we even get independence? Because again, we, Britain is part of everything that we're even going through now. Yes, we have to take responsibility and accountability for ourselves and our leaders. But still, a lot of things are going into play and we need to deconstruct everything and start from the beginning. So I believe that, yes, we, we can't fully Nigerians forever. And all these, the news of, oh, the, the palliatives, they were there. So it proves that the, the palliatives were there. This is how they're trying to, you know, um, absorb themselves for any type of um, claim that they did not care about the people. Because they will claim that, okay, this is the proof and evidence. But the thing is, you did not share it out. At the height of unemployment, you did not share it out. And you are now saying it's because of the NSAS protest. That is why you were instructed to stop. In the order of Lagos, the order of Lagos is meant at least, even if you are not in the decision making process, you're not in the body of the constitution, at least if there's anything people can understand, it is you. But then you are rich by your own self, and yet this is the kind of thing that you are keeping for yourself when your people are in, in poverty. I don't even know what is going to happen next because at the end of the day, it's like as if Nigerians need to go through or everyone needs to go through a change, total change of mindset. We don't even know how the people in power how we can dethrone them or take them out what is the next line of action well this is what it is put what you think about this in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe